Oh, I'm trying to record in your. <laughs> so, we're going to look at Insectorial for Robert Lang's Stag Beetle. Well, this applies to it near enough every insect that's symmetrical. So what if I were to cut this in half and then unfold it, that would be the exact same on both sides. So this method applies to near enough every insect that's symmetrical. So we've got to use this as an example. And this is the base of it. So what I, what I like to do is, normally, in step one, or first thing to do is, the body centre. And this means, so let me just try and draw an insect quickly. It's going to be bad. So body, leg, 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 leg. So the first thing to do is, well, what I like to do is, I said before, work on the body centre, so this is the body and the legs so we we'll focus on just the inside we we'll forget about the legs and everything else so we we'll shape the body first that gives structure and strength and then we can shape the legs to the body and so on oh, here comes the sun right so so we'll do it on this so glue, paintbrush and a wee pointy tip in case I need to use it to put glue in awkward places. I can easily put a bit of glue on this and then just pop it in where I want it. Then just some regular wood glue, white, white glue. If you can even get clear glue, that would work much better. I'll just follow this up. So like I said before, we're going to focus on just the body, just the centre. So if I, if I were to just fold out the legs. So it's hard to show them now, but obviously the legs, then the antenna bit, now the, the front part. That's sunburn or in my angle. Right, anyway, so I'm going to just glue this centre part. Right, there we go. So again, I'm going to just glue everything except the legs near enough. So I'm going to glue all this together, hold it tight. All these layers, hold it tight. Going to glue... I'm going to stop up here, because this is the claw part, which I'll... I'll shape later. So where the leg stops is where the glue will stop. And here. So er everything basically in between will get glued first. So let's start. That's too much. Already added too much. So don't add too much when you do it. You just want a wee bit, just enough to stick. In fact, I'm going to use my other glove. So 
So I've quickly changed the glue to the one I normally use. I think the other one's a bit too thick. So I'm just going to focus on me, all the layers inside this part first. You just need to open up every individual layer one by one and put a bit of glue inside it and squash it and then open up again and then do the same because there's no glue here so add a bit in here and then squash it so you see, as you can see I, I, as I open up all of it is glued together and a wee bit more and squash and then I'll do the same thing on this side I can use this wee tool, just to put a wee bit of glue on here. So now that we've got this part completely glued on both sides, I'm going to do the exact same in this part, and then here as well. So I'm going to do the exact same what I did here, right there and there.
Right, and now that we've glued this part, this part, and this part, what I'm going to do is now add some glue inside. So it's, you, you don't need to be too neat with this. So open it up. And this wee pocket here is the inside of this, this first part. So I'm going to open it up. Right. Got some glue on this wee tool. Pop it in. And just move it about. And then squash together. And that's going to hold that bit in place perfectly. I'm going to do the same thing here and here. So setting part. A bit more difficult to try and open this up. I'm setting one something there. So the setting one's in here. Don't need to too much. And then this other one, that's the last one here. There it is. Basically, just need to add enough so it sticks together. Oh, why does that need to be a wee crease there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So now these three parts are fully glued. I'm going to stick them together. So I'm going to put glue here, and then glue here, and then stick them together. Right, I'll use the paintbrush this way. You can if you want to add glue underneath this wee part, so in here. But it doesn't really matter. And then when you glue it, make sure it's glued under this top layer, so, it, so you don't see it. Which seems to be fine. Again, always try to unfold it. In fact, I've not even added enough glue. Let's come on done. Let's try again. And then add glue here. Use the brush. And then stick together. So now that part is fully stuck together, as you can see there is a wee bit of an overlap, so it doesn't matter, we can easily hide that later on when we shape. So I'm just going to fold that bit down now. Anyway, we'll come back to this bit later. We're just going to focus on the top part. <coughs> so now I'm going to extend the glue up to here. So glue all this together and then we can shape this part.
just to glue these parts together. Now glue these big parts together. So that's all glued basically, between here and here, these legs, this is all glued. We don't need to glue here or anywhere up here just yet, or these legs as well. Right. I'll glue here last, so there's a wee bit more to glue. So that looks like it's near enough glued perfectly. Don't worry about these wee parts that aren't glued, we'll get them later. So I'm going to do the exact same on the inside. 
so all these parts need glued as well. It's going to be a bit tricky, so I'll fold these legs up. So again, just keep doing one layer at a time. And it's always best to use a clear glue, which I've not got, because then you don't need to worry about glue marks. That doesn't matter anyway. Just need to be careful when you glue. So what else is to glue? It does get quite tricky because it's all compact in here. started off with all these layers, all like this, and then when you glue it all on the outside and the inside, they're all practically gone, there's zero layers in there. So again I'm going to do the exact same thing I did here, all on this side. So I'm going to add glue in between all these layers again, just up to here, no further than this point, and then repeat it on the inside. Now like I said at the start, just shape the body, or just glue the body, ignore the legs and then the other parts. This is what I've got. So look how thin that is. That is unbelievably thin with the amount of layers there is, and it's near enough all glued together, which is just what I want, on the outside and the inside, so there is still a wee bit, but that doesn't matter. And now when I look at that, it's much more clearer. I could shape the body there now, and then shape the legs one by one. So it's much more easier to then shape, like, like that way. So I'm actually going to just fix those wee glue bits. Again, before you continue to move on and shaping this, always make sure that every bit is glued together. It makes a big difference and it's much easier later on. Oh my god, how did that fail so badly? Right, anyway, so that's that done. So, 
effort. I'm going to glue together these parts at the top of the body just to get them done. I really need to get more clear glue. I ran out ages ago. And you don't need to worry about where you put glue and if you get glue marks because you won't get glue marks with clear glue. It does help a lot. This last wee one, and then the same on the other side. Not too much. There we go. There we go. So there we go, the body is basically fully glued and in place. So what I'm going to do now is, what I've got here is thick MC glue. And I'll use this to help shape the rest of the body. I'll help glue it all together first. I don't want to get anywhere. I don't want to get any of this over the paper, the white paper. So basically, I'll, I'll just leave a bit of glue there. So now I'm going to just lightly brush over MC glue over the top of these layers. Just a lot, just a small bit. And it's going to help stick all the layers together. And it will activate the MC glue in the paper as well. And just compress it. And then the same here. Look how thin that is, there's like zero layers in that, that's unbelievable, this is single tissue, this is by far the best paper out there. See I've added that glue, now when I try and open it up, it's near enough stuck together. So at this point, if you've not added enough, add a wee tiny bit more. was a kit me on at the back door. Do settings looper. So when you add enough, compress it. And then just let it dry like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Because I've glued just this part and here on the inside and the, the inside as well on both sides. I'm going to try and open up and because you're using MC as a liquid you don't you don't need to do it to every single layer it will soak through them you just need to add the right amount to the settings buddy just going to try and open all these up And then the same again, compress it. And 
And I'll do the same thing here if it needs it. Yeah, just a wee bit. Settings, buddy. Again, when I'm doing that, I'm pushing it down and trying to force it together. So that is basically it. That's the whole body shaped except the legs, all the paper between the legs and the actual body all glued, emceed and compressed together and then you can shape this top part which I'll just do the now should get the pegs to hold this in place I'm just going to peg it here just to just to hold it in place so it's easier. Leave it back, doesn't matter. So basically, in the body, you're just adding a curve from oops, from this point down to here, and then the same here, here, and here. But before I do that, I'm going to let loop around. Right now, let's try and add a curve. So it's always good to actually make sure all these layers are glued firmly together first. Then it makes it easier to shape. Are these glued together firmly? There we are. Another wee bit MC actually. See when I added that MC it's completely stuck the edges together which is just what I want. So I'm going to do the same thing on here and then here and here. So I'll just open up slightly like that. Don't worry if it's not if it's messy. Add some MC glue and then close it back up. Sticks to your hands quite a bit of this stuff. Oh, that's perfect. Right. So, for this part, you just want to fold basically a quarter of it inside. It's hard to judge. In fact, I probably just use my hands. Mm. 
as well. I use these tweezers. It's too fiddly. like that and then just the same on this side If you can, try and get it as the same as possible. Oh, well, there we go, that was lucky. That was really lucky. Near enough perfect. And then the body, it doesn't matter really how you shape it. As long as you get these two parts, a nice curve on them, then you can easily separate you can you can curve in these parts as well, which I'll do when I'm basically finished the final touches, and then for the body, it's basically just curve it inwards, so it's got a nice round shape to it. And there we go. That is part one for shaping an insect. So thanks for watching everyone, remember to like and subscribe.